Hello, and welcome back to Survival with me, Peeporp. Um, we're in our, uh, the tower, the watchtower that we built last episode with the, with the whole building with the villager breeder and stuff. Um, as you could probably see, I've added some things to it, but I did that in a stream. So, uh, yes, I did that in a stream. What I've also done is, um, I've kind of added a little bit of interior over here. I've added a little basement for things, and there's a door here, which could go out, so I think that's handy. And also, I textured, like I said I would, I textured the stone on around here, which looks really nice, and then up the tower, which also looks really nice. Um, this is a bit more sparse on the texturing, because I'm going to be uh, adding leaves and stuff, and bushes, and and all those kinds of things up there. I've also been trade been trading. I have not been trading, not yet. I've been breeding up some uh, villagers. So hopefully we got a few little runaways, a few little ones running around. Uh, there's, there's a couple. There's a couple there. But yeah, to, in today's episode, what I want to be getting done is I want to turn the villagers down. <laughs> Is that better? I think I think they're a lot. I think they're much quieter now. Um, but in yes, back to what I was saying. <laughs> in this episode, I want to um, deal with a couple things. Honestly, I want to start up a um, melon, a little melon farm and pumpkin farm out there, so I can start working on trades. And what I also want to do is I want to work. I want to do an interior. I haven't done an interior yet on this on this series yet. I've barely done the interior inside my starter house, but I've got a vision for what I want to do. Because in here, I want to kind of... I want to just keep the villagers in here once I've got good trades. I know I said I was going to make a library, but that's not going to be made until... Oh, I, God knows. I'm gonna be, <laughs> it's going to be a long time until I've got a library. And by then, I'll also be able to uh, use the zombies on them so that they get better deals. But for now... I'm just going to put them up here. Yeah, I'm just going to put them around here. I'm going to put the some stone cutters in the basement. And I mean, I'm literally right above the pit where they're all in. So I might as well just scoop them up from their basement area and, and bring them to somewhere nicer. So I'm going to... I'm going to go and plan the interior for this area. And then I'll be back and we'll see, and I'll kind of talk you through my thought process of what is going to be here. So yeah, let's get, let's go and do that. Woo. Okay, so it doesn't look like I've done that much, but what I have planned is I am going to bring the wood like this. So it's like a support and it's going to be like a little uh, balcony area kind of thing. Uh, I don't know what the... The actual name for it is i think it's i'll just call it a balcony and that's going to be there and that comes down here uh, i didn't want to do a time lapse of this because you know interiors are not the most fun to do because they're difficult <laughs> this should look Good, I need to put the support there. And then, like that. Like that, like that. And then I need to bring the floor of this, like that. Is there an enderman in here with, hello, uh, not friend. Uh, I shall smite thee. <laughs> is he coming back? <laughs> I think I made him run away. Oh no. Hello? He's gonna come and get me now, isn't he? Come at me. Alright, okay. <laughs> I guess he won't. This is a fleeting visitor. So now the floor has been put in, well, the floor slash ceiling, uh, and I've 
brought up the supports here, up here. So I'm going to put fences across here, or I will use trap doors. Um, I haven't decided that yet. Um, it, it might be trap doors, honestly, because they they do look more like banisters more than fences do. But I am going to be also using trap doors for the for the handrails of this this staircase. So um, I'll go make some trap doors. Go see how they look, um, and yeah, either spruce or oak at the moment because uh, I don't know if uh, dark oak will look good in this situation. But yeah, I'm going to go and try and do that. Ow! Uh, I also put um, some windows around. Uh, I also put some in the tower and I shall show what it looks like from far away and with the detailing now as well, like all the the gradients and the textures and stuff. See, it looks it looks so good. I'm, I did a little design on the windows. I'm not going to do anything on the outside because it's not really... I don't want it to be too ornate on this tower, but um, I added a little depth with the windows. It's like a little shutter that you pull down and then you can pull up if you want the breeze to come through. And so I just did that with just a simple block of glass and a glass pane. Uh, and I think it looks really nice. It really, And I put one here as well. That one's going to get some uh, a bit of TLC. But also I need to build, <laughs> I need to build a way to get in here. So... Um, I can probably do that very quickly. I got some. I got some. I got some stone bricks lying around. Maybe. Oh, not here. Oh, I'm gonna have to go over there. Uh, I'm doing a million different things at once. This always happens, but it's gonna help. This is gonna help me getting through here and stuff. I keep forgetting there's a door there, but you know, I'm gonna go make some trap doors and some <laughs> and some stairs. Okay, let's go. Okay, it's the satisfying part. The torch was in the way, so it was less satisfying. <laughs> no! No! See? Satisfying, kinda. Actually, I need to put one there. Or maybe two there. There we go. Lovely stuff. It's, it's nothing revolutionary. Nothing you haven't seen before. You know, it's better than dirt. I can tell you that. And oh, look at that. It's like it's like I was prepared or something. It's like I was prepared or something. So let's go in here and let's work on the sides here. Let's because we got some oak trap doors. I'm gonna put them around and see what uh, it looks like. I like the the way it looks up here. But I'm not sure about this one right here. The one up the stairs. I think I'm just going to leave that. I do like this banister, though. This like little handrail is, is pretty much is pretty much perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to, to have. And then up here, I think I'm going to actually continue these supports going all the way up. And then around here is where I'm going to have some of the villager stations like back here. So they're going to be... Uh, let's just plan it out. So we've got one here, and then one between here. So we got, so we got four here. One, two, three, four. And then in this area too, uh, I need to change the, the color of the, well, the type of wood on the floor. I'll try it with two different ways. I'll try it this way. So there's one, two, three, four that way or I do it this way and it will be one it'd be three <laughs> so maybe that way uh, would be much better the way that I had it before so we can get a good couple of villagers up in here to there we go so these will go up as well as these supports up to the top. Three. Uh, that one's too tall. It's going to be one of those moments where I cut from the from the building because I <laughs> ran out of spruce wood. Um, I genuinely have run out of spruce logs. So, <laughs> oh no. 
Oh no, I'm so bad at this. Spruce, I just use spruce too much, honestly. I just use so much spruce. I can't, I can't continue with, with this diet of pure spruce. Oh, I've got, I've got a few, but I still need to do some more farming over there. And also I need to uh, get rid of this ladder and put glass all the way around this so none of the babies will have any chance of escaping at all. But yeah, I'm going to carry on uh, planning out the, the docks for them and I'll be right back. Now this is something that I wasn't sure that I would ever uh, actually do and that is searching for flowers. Um, I need to find red ones and I found some over there because I want to have a little bit of carpet in my uh, in my little temporary library and I'll show you what I've been doing in there so far as well let me just get these hi piggy I'm just stealing your flowers don't mind me I'm sure he doesn't mind I think he's moved on quite literally quite literally moved on so I'm gonna get the white wool get some red wool and then I'm gonna make some carpet as well just so I can make it look all textured and stuff it does go down into the basement area here however however I think I can make it work somehow <laughs> no I will make it work I mean sure <laughs> but yeah I've um I've done some more work in it I've put some bookshelves up here so you know what type of villager is they've got their own little holes here um, torch uh, so it's always lit up and mob proof so nothing nasty spawns in there and basically how I'm gonna um, transport them is I'm gonna well uh, not that one obviously I'm gonna <laughs> have them railed in through the uh, through here or probably on the side here because uh, I know this side is like the uh, the rock support on the the back side of this but yeah, but yeah I'm, it, it'll work I promise you I promise you it will definitely work and then I've got to do the same thing up here uh, let me put some more torches down, honestly. There, there. Not you there. Just so they're hidden. But yeah, um, I also think that if I'm going to be decorating this now, I also want to be uh, getting trades in the trading hall downstairs. So I think we need to go and try and get some good trades uh, from the villagers that are down there get some good books That I need I need silk touch. Ah, I need silk touch so bad. <laughs> oh lord. I need so silk, silk touch. So let's put all this in here You're not allowed in there. I'm sorry um, Let's put you in there. Oh, I had all my poppies there. Whoops um, <laughs> And then yeah, I think that should be good. I remember I needed some clay, um, clay balls to, uh, trade with the, the stone masons in there. So I'm gonna get some, get some clay balls so I can get some emeralds and that will help with the book trades in case I catch one that I want so I can lock that in with the trade from the emeralds that I earn from this. And I'm drowning! Ow! And it's night time. Ah! <laughs> okay, we did it. <laughs> so I've got all the items that I need uh, to make some. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. There's so many. <laughs> oh, good grief. I'm, uh, I've, I've, done a, I've done a bit too many. But at least I can keep them all in minecarts. There we go. Look at that. You go, all you minecarts. Having so much fun together. There we go. And we've got our our first. Our first. Oh. No. Actually, I need it. <laughs> this is not going well. 
You go in there. Go in there. Go in there. I'm not treating you badly. I'm just saying go in here. And great. Now I'm now I'm stuck in here. Now I'm st Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Go away. There we go. <laughs> I need to move them. Oh, this is so annoying. This is so frustrating. Let's put Electron down. Are you going to learn anything from it? He says no. So you need to be a bit more on. Are you going to... Are you going to... No? Are you going to not give us a thingy? You're not going to let us... No? You have failed me. Goodbye. Or not. <sighs> I'll be back. Okay. Something's something's gone wrong. I don't know what's what's happening right now, but uh they're not picking up professions. Oh there they Oh we did! Oh we did! Cool. Uh no. <laughs> okay, now it's time to just uh just sit back and and do this for however long it takes. <laughs> oh no. <laughs>
I say we just take him up and put him in the in the building. We've just finished one of the some of the interior, so I mean we might as well just pop him in there. I think that's a good plan. I think right here, honestly, right here would be a good place to put him. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna need to uh I'm gonna need to uh bring the a rail all the way up to here. I'm gonna have to zigzag around and stuff, and then I'm gonna have to put that there so he keeps the thing. But yeah, that I'm gonna probably well, I'm not probably gonna do it. I'm definitely gonna go and do that right now. So wish me luck, I guess. I need to go and get some more rails. But yeah, let's see how this goes. I'm gonna just go through here and replace it because I have stone on me, so I mean it should be fine. And then just make a little cobblestone. A little cobblestone uh rail track for them because I think that they're going by the dimensions of here if I because I go down here and then it's like on this side the the track should come up literally around here maybe uh we'll see I think I actually might be a little bit over there but uh let's check oh wait this is underneath the uh I was, I was, I was close. If anything, I was, I underestimated myself <laughs> when it came to lining it up. But yeah, that's, that's, that's great, honestly. So we can do this, but not like that because you can't do it straight away. So let's go and make him come down here then oh okay a little bit there we go and he's up I need to sleep immediately and I think he should be all snug and snug as a bug in a rug inside of his inside of his new home well wow, temporary home hello let's get you let's get you all cozy oh actually you need to be pushed in less so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm just gonna do that but I'm gonna keep this this not I'm not gonna keep it open per se but I'm gonna have that covering it so I can always easily access it and look you can't even see where it, where it was where him was. Oh, there's a cat coming into the house. Hello. I should get some cats to uh, make sure creepers don't spawn. But hello. Let's put you in here. Let's, put you, let's just put you in here. Do that. And then I don't know how to do hitboxes. So, I mean, I could just keep you there. So then I don't have to re-put you into a... Uh, a minecart when you get moved again, but I think I think here's a good good place to put you. So yeah, Silk Touch. Look at that, and our first villager to be put inside of our inside of our building, which is very exciting, honestly. So he's got like a little well, not like a name yet. I mean, I can name them eventually. But I think put him right here and then silk touch. And then get my dye and I dye that white. Look at that. Silk touch. Yay! I've actually done something. I've actually done something well for once. Yes! I've done something technical. Oh, I'm so happy with this. I actually did this. I'm so happy with myself. <laughs> this probably sounds dumb, but I'm actually really happy with it. I'm really impressed that I managed to do something like this. Um, but I'm going to um, carry on and make make this 
bottom part look prettier. Uh, gonna add some stuff around here. But yeah, this looks so nice. Oh, it's so nice. I'm so happy. So, so happy. Okay, I'm gonna go and do that now. <laughs> well, uh, this is the opposite of good. This is the, the actual opposite of what I want. It's a good job there's... It's a good job there's places... Where did they come from? They come up from up here? They come from up here? Whereabouts did they come from? I'm just going to put them up here just to be safe. Because the light level is really... Oh. Oh. Wrong way. The light level is really low around here. So maybe they just kind of spawned on the tops of the logs. I really, really have no idea where those two came from. But... It shows that the this guy is safe. If any zombies spawn in here, then that he will be safe. And so I said to him, that's not a toaster. That's my wife. <laughs> oh, oh, you're such a laugh. You're such a laugh. Uh, but yeah, I have a... Uh, I've decorated. It looks it looks really lovely. There's little little areas for you to can see and read books and and there's books and there's another area to go and read books and there's windows now and this is basically the only bit that I've done only this floor and it took took so long because I had to go and get clay for the for the plant pots and just work out where everything was going so it looks nice um, but yeah I'm really I'm actually really happy with it, how it's looking because I'm not really good at interiors and so this would uh, break the streak of me being bad at interiors. Now, originally, uh, I was planning to have a little time lapse of me working on the details for the outside, but there's simply just not enough time in this episode. It's, we've done like hardly anything, but it's taken so much time. We got some. We actually got silk touch, which is fantastic. But for the now, uh, it's time to end the episode. If you really, if you enjoyed it, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. Uh, if you d leave a comment down below, I read them. That will be fantastic. Uh, but yeah, I'm Peeporp. This has been Survival with Peeporp. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.